sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross your eyes. Sway in the morning. Shave four five. Have a B. Have a B. Have a B. Talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. A lot of times, man, I love when these uh, artists come out, young artists that, that got talent, you know, just natural giving talent. Yeah. Didn't go to necessarily, you know, school for music, you know, didn't. Did, well, but did you go to school for music? Nah, not okay, at all. Okay, not okay, not at me, all. okay, I can keep my spell going there. Yeah, all for right, sure. All right, didn't go to school for music, didn't, didn't, didn't necessarily. Teach, didn't go to vocal class. Yeah. None of that. No, didn't get a, go to choir rehearsal, but didn't go to songwriting school, but have been able to pin some very catchy songs and create their own style and learn how to just harmonize or croon in the right key and be able to uh, rap on point, in time, in the pocket, and then uh, create a movement for themselves that kind of help us to see what's going on um, in a, a in a different level of the uh, uh, in the younger generation. Yeah. And for me, I get to live vicariously through them. They ain't doing nothing I didn't do before, but you know I'm talk about that too. Right. Yeah. 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 Ain't talk nothing about... new under the sun. Right, right, right. But damn it, I didn't have it like this, young man. Kirko Bangs. What up, here. big homie? Up, I, lo I love the introduction, man. Oh, I feel like man. I was about to go to a boxing match or something. <laughs> you know, man. I mean, you know, it's if if I'm moved by a person. I'm not. I, I look at you know the person, you know, as well as who the artist is. A lot of times you can't get everything about the artist as you should perhaps through their music, but maybe that person don't want to show you everything. Yeah. But when I meet the person, sometimes a lot of artists just be faking, you know, yeah. cre create these characters. Yeah, you got to worry about that over here. Yeah, man. exactly. For so. Sure. Every time we've sat down, man, he remind me of a younger me, have the beard. Yeah, I already. You know what I mean? You know, smooth. I mean, I wasn't as clean and well-dressed as this guy. <laughs> you know, but uh, but Kirkle Bangs is here, man. It's good to have you back. You've been gone. I feel like you've been, you've been dormant for a minute. Yeah. In a sense. And uh, we were talking about this just off record. You know, you, you had a lot of transition to make. You, you came on, on the scene. You had the procrastination uh, mixtape series. Oh, and and then you know you got that drink in my cup that became a Billboard smash. Did that go platinum on iTunes? Yeah, 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 yeah okay. platinum yeah. for sure. Platinum artists, you know, making money on the road, and then things start to happen, right? Mm, don't don't forget the cars. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Cribs. Okay, the guy got the house now, nice yeah. house. <laughs> the car, the jewelry. Yes, sir. Uh, how many pair of sneakers you got? I have no clue. Damn, <laughs> that right many. All off supposedly one record, you know what I'm saying? I'm still here, You're and still I did all that—the Lamborghinis, the Ferraris, everything. So now I'm just like, man, it's time for me to just get back to why I came here, get yeah. back to the work. You know what I'm saying? All that, all that was fun. Yeah. All that was fun, and like we was talking earlier, what we was talking yesterday, I just had to learn a lot of things about the game, man. Yeah. I had to learn how to give and take in the game, learn how to work with the people, learn how to work with the label. Mm -hmm. Just had to sit myself down. Really, God sent me down. That's how I told yeah. you, God sent me down. I feel like God sent me down and just. Let me get myself together, get my values together, get everything right. So when it's time for me to take off, I'll be ready. Mm -hmm. and I'll be in control of what I got going on. Word. You know, it's interesting because as successful as that one single was for you, you could still bump into these brick walls. We were just telling a story back in 2009 how uh, Rihanna had uh, some financial difficulties, you know, started the year off with, with $11 million in her bank account, ended it with $2 million, uh, because of some um, accountant who was mismanaging the money. Um, financially, how has that been dealing with more money than you ever made? I mean, how difficult is it to it's, manage? Seriously, it's like it's crazy. Like you know, I ain't grow with nothing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I was in high school. I had holes in my shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was a little kid asking kids for lunch at lunchtime. You wow. know what I mean? Asking kids for lunch money at lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Not because I couldn't eat free lunch. I was like had too much pride. I'm like, nah, I'm about to eat with y'all. I'm about to make myself feel like. I ain't got these issues going on back at the crib. I'm borrowing my homie clothes. Me and my little brother borrowing my homie clothes. I grew up like that, so when I got the money, you know, I'm in a strip club throwing fifteen, twenty thousand, cause I'm thinking that that's what we really supposed to do. That's yeah. what we're really doing. But they ain't out here doing that. They lying. You know what I'm saying? They ain't out here doing that. They lying, and it's a trend and stuff like that. But it's like I wanted, I wanted to live that. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to live that whole lifestyle. So I just threw myself into all that. Cars, like I was saying, you know, Lamborghinis, Rice, Penthouse, all that, you know what I'm saying? But now I'm like, I didn't did that. And yeah. I'm 24, 
and I'm blessed to still be here and still yeah. have this opportunity and still be making great music. And this yeah. music I got for this album, which is going to drop this summer, Bigger Than Me, is crazy. Bigger Than Me, that's yes, the name sir. of the album. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, um, I'm going to come back to these finances real quick. <laughs> um, taxes, when you had to start paying taxes on all that money you spent, yeah, did that shape you? Shape yeah, you? man, no, that's one of the things. <laughs> 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 got to get it together. We gonna got it all full surface though, three sixty. Yeah, so okay, cool, man. Kirkle Bangs is here. Where did you go to high school? I went to North Shore High School in Houston, Texas, in on Houston. the east side for sure. Okay, um, and so now you live by yourself, right? Yeah. Okay, you single? Yeah. Okay, uh, you got any babies? Nah, nah, no sir. Damn, man, got nice. all got no depending. Yo, man, get that man. I'm good. Of I'm at yeah. the top of the list. Come holla at me. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, last night, what did you do? Well, I had well, 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 let's answer that up next. All right. Yeah, and we gonna Look, I was ready. Y'all, saw you? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know this one right here. Kirkle Bangs is here. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Yo, when you, you know, I love songs that like kind of define an era in time. You get that nostalgic feeling. Mm Because every time I hear this song, it just reminds me of a good time in the club. And this sound right then uh, was just people were just coming into it. Yeah. You know, so it was at the forefront of a sound, sonic movement that was taking place. You know, and uh, Kirkle Bangs is here, the architect. Easy. Of the song. Man, you've been in New York for a couple days. How, how'd your night, man? Uh, you know, just true stories only. How did your night go last night? Oh, I had a two-piece, no fries. You know what I'm saying? Word? They came through and did it for the culture. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't about chicken, I see. Uh-uh. Who's they? Got legs, huh? Who's the who? Oh, you got legs. What about some breasts? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, how does that happen, Dog, man? Huh? Um, like, just, just like, say for example, two girls, right? Mm-hmm. This doesn't happen for DJ Wonder, man. He's at the club all the time, and he's so angry. You see how upset he yeah, is? Yeah, I see him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who initiates that? Like, were these people you knew, or nah? How did it initiate? I mean, I just got to talking. I, I was on that Henny, though. You know what I'm saying? I was on that Henny mm-hmm. in my Henny Hardaway mode, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you could just talk in real cool. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was supposed to only be a one piece, you know? Yeah. It had like $1.99. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't pay. That's just I'm being a metaphor, you know? Okay, okay. But anyway, it's supposed to be a one piece, and they get to telling you it's a two piece. And I'm like, okay. Damn. I got a little, little more Henny, so I got a little more Henny Hardaway in me. Mm-hmm. I, I gave him a little, this, little of the juice, you know? Yeah. yeah. And it just went down. It went down. Did they freak off on each other? Yeah, of course. Did you film it? They know watching. Huh? Did I film it? Nah, man. I was too busy. You know, I lost some money one time, so I was too busy trying to watch everything at the same time, you know? Yo, these bras be sneaking. <laughs> what, you fell asleep and shit? Nah, in I ain't fall- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in, back in the gap, I fell asleep. It was another two-piece, but I had my homie with me, and I did what I had to do. I went to another room, mm-hmm. oh. left him in there, and he got rocked to bed, uh-huh. and they just went to funneling. <laughs> You know, it's all good though. Great <laughs> memories. He so, says you got rocked to bed. What about the Why morning? Why you looking at me like that? Because <laughs> you being judged. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? Are you imagining this happening? You use protection <laughs> for sure. I'm that's, always strapped. That's what's up. That's good. Up. But what's the morning after like? Is it an awkward conversation, morning or do they after. just know their position? A lot of times it ain't a morning after, but oh, okay. today it was because it was so late. You know, it was just like a little nudge, like yo, I got radio, and then you know, and a little it. nudge. And then I got radio. I got radio. Yeah. So you use me as an excuse? Yeah, man. You know, my dog, big bro. I got business to handle. <laughs> I got business to handle. That's the new excuse. Just use me as an excuse. Yeah. I got sway in the morning. Once yeah. that phone ring, you good. You good money. You good. Wow, that's interesting. You hear that, Heather B? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, and, and, him, <laughs> and, 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 and see, when you hear his new single, mm-hmm. you understand that it's not coming from a, a fake place. The title of the new single is? Ho. There it is, right there. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> For sure. There it is. And, and and the two girls, not not of course every person is in a hole. You said this I to me. I think they were they, they my friends. They are now. They ain't no hoes. Yeah, they my friends for sure. Yeah? Yeah, man, we cool. So you don't think that they're, they're hoes, um, two mm-hmm. girls you just met last night that you talked into a menage. I ain't talking into it. That's what they just did what they wanted to do. They just living like I'm living. Okay. With Henny Hardaway. Maybe Henny three, Hardaway. Maybe all three of y'all are hoes. Would that be? <laughs> hey, I might not have a problem. <laughs> Equal opportunity. You understand? <laughs> Yo, I love this dude's life. Come on. What am I doing? What am I doing right now? All right, Drew in Los Angeles. Good morning. Say what up to Kirko Bangs. 
What up, Kurt Cobain? <laughs> what up, homie? What it do? Not much, man. Hey, I want to say I'm a big fan Thank of you. your music. I actually love that song that you did with Nipsey Hussle. I got a friend. Oh, yeah, that's the truth. Appreciate that. Man, I, hey, I'm over here, out here in Malibu. I've always bumped that, and my neighbors hate me for that shit. Yeah, man. See, that? I got that, a friend record. That's, that explains last night. I'm glad you brought that up, Drew. I got a friend, I know. right? Easy. Yeah, see? <laughs> Yeah, they're just appreciate the love, G. <laughs> hey, we got Steve in Mississippi. <laughs> Say what up to Kirk Cobain. <laughs> what up, homie? What up, G? What he do? Man, you got it, man. I just want to say, brother, I grew up in a. I'm a real Southern born from Mississippi, man. I grew up in a certain era, you know, with music. You know, it's it's completely changed. Yeah. Like I said, there's three different artists, man. I'm telling you, man. And he taught y'all well. You know, it's yourself. A cat named Big Crit and another cat named Les. You know, you probably heard of them. Yeah, man, I hear the soul of Pimp C and y'all music, man. Man, I I'm, really appreciate that. It, even though he gone, I feel like it's hope when I hear y'all music, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep doing your thing, man. You're a smart guy to be so young. Handle your business and get your money, bro. All right, man. You take care of yourself, man. God bless you. Hey, Steve, you're a citizen. A sway in the morning. All right, we got uh, Prissy on the line. Hey, Prissy, how you been? What up, Prissy? Uh, hi, guys. How are you guys? All right. What's up, Prissy? Hi, Coco Bang. How are you? <laughs> Kirk, that's <up>? Kirk Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm up on the south. You know what I'm saying? But I, got, I love you, and I love your music. My birthday is today. I want to know... Would you do a rap for my birthday for me? I'ma do you a I'ma do you i am I'ma do you a favor. We're gonna do a lot. Where you where you from? I'm from Georgia, but now I'm in um Pompano's um beach. Well look, I got a I got a tour. I'm coming there with Bun B. And you hit me on the Twitter. We're gonna make up a code word or whatever. Hit me on the Twitter. I'm I'm gonna get you tickets to the tour when I come to Atlanta, when I come to Georgia. It's in Atlanta though. Okay. Thank you. Hey, oh, hey, hey Prissy. Thank you, but, but huh? You gotta bring a friend. You see how he do. Yeah. I see. That's what's up. I'm, I'm going to make that happen for you. I got you. Okay. Two piece. Okay. Everything, everything. Buck yeah. 99. All right. <laughs> um, you're going on the trail. You, uh, um, trail is, um, yeah. The tour with Bun B. Mm -hmm. um, how many dates y'all doing? Uh, I think it's like 28. 28 days. Yeah. You and Bun got a uh, deep documented uh, history, right? Yeah. Yeah. And actually, I've been around for however long I've been around for a little minute, but I've never did a tour. This is your first tour? First official tour, yeah. With I done did dates with a couple of folks, but it's like two and three days or three. It's supposed to be all these days, but it didn't happen that, that way. Yeah. You know, so it's the first time I actually did a tour, so I'm honored about that. And then it's with Bun B. Yeah. Like, who are better? You know, the be, legend, Bun B. It's, it's, it's another stepping stone. That's a stamp. Yeah. All the stuff. It's happening the right way, you know. Shout out to Bun B. Then we got the record, Triller, uh -huh. that we did a while back and just so happened it's called the Trillers Tour. Mm -hmm. You can get that, get the tickets on the TrillersTour.com and KirkOBanks.com. But man, I'm just ready, you know. Just I'm ready. excited. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy for I'm you, happy man. To be doing it. We gotta put your hands in my uh, mystery sack, man, just to see what's going on with you. I know that sounded crazy to you, man, but <laughs> <clears throat> don't take it literally, man. You know I what it did, is. I All did. right. Three questions, no matter what they are, you have to answer them one at a time, <clears throat> and you have to read it out loud. If as a child you were asked to pick two celebrities to be your parent, parents, who would it be? Uh, man, th that's weird. That's a weird question. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I had to pick a man and a lady. You want to pick two men? No, 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 not, not like that. 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 It's <laughs> Come on. Oh uh, man. Mmm. That's a tough one. I don't really know. Denzel, you want Denzel to be your dad? So. Like Will Smith? I was thinking Will Smith too. Will Smith, okay. Will I ain't Smith gonna lie, nah. I like man. I was a uh, Allen Iverson fan growing up, man. Okay. So you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I was about to have a, you know what I'm saying, cool pops. So I probably would have picked AI. Uh huh. As far as a woman go, I don't even know. Think about I'm, who you want. I can't pick nobody else different size. My mom though, I can't oh, even do that. Go. Yeah, that's a good I answer. Mad at that I ain't answer. mad at that answer. Right they always the dads always get screwed out of the equation, man. I they do that to they self. <laughs> <laughs> if you were forced to be a sex slave to one of your peers, who would you choose and why? Mm. Rihanna ain't my peer, but you know, 
I choose Rihanna. Rihanna. And why? Because, I mean, that's easy. I ain't got no problem with that. Okay, Rihanna. Rihanna <laughs> yeah. and who else? Huh? You said Rihanna? Yeah. Okay, that's easy. a good one. That's good. Okay. Last one. You would be Rihanna's sex slave. For sure. Okay. I let me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> If you quietly fart in the room with people still smelling and start acting around, do you own up to it or displace the blame? Oh, I blame it on somebody. I'll, I'll move around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move off. I'm sitting over here. I'll go lay it over there and then come back over here. <laughs> so it looks like it's one of them. Smell like somebody fought it this morning. Yeah. Man. All right, uh, Kirk Bangs. That was the mystery sack. That was For easy sure. enough. For sure. All right. Um, the album is coming out. Yeah. When, summertime, summer, this summertime? summer, yeah, this okay. summer. Uh, bigger than me, bigger than me, yes, uh, sir. And I know you were talking about um, you got a track with um, our good friend August Alcina. Yeah, um, I want to be rich. Yeah, and um, you really feel strong about that one. Is that going to be the next single? Yes, sir. It's just one of those records, man. Okay, it's just one of those. It's just I've, I, ain't nobody ever heard me on a record like this. You know, very inspirational, very authentic, telling my story, getting to that heart, that that place. You know yeah. what I'm saying for yeah. me. And then I know the people gonna feel it as well. And like I told you, there's no better record I would want to just pick to be leaning back, leaning into my album, you mm -hmm. know. And as far as the album go, it's just, it's just crazy, dog. Everything's cohesive, everything go together, everything's fun. But it's just, it's just what I really need and what I really wanted my album to sound like my first album, and it's gonna set me up perfectly. Yeah, you know. And I remember asking you almost, so it feel like a year ago, what's up with the album? Even then, you were like, I'm not even concerned about that. I'm just yeah. gonna just keep creating and making these mute, making these songs, and because I was eating off singles after yeah. single, and then off the mixtapes, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, just shows and stuff like that. As, as far as money goes, and my career was going good as well. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to rush anything. I feel like I want to wait till my buzz. Everything just got to the right place. Everything got big. Cause I don't want to just. You know, and this, this album to me is like a one album game yeah. to me now nowadays. A lot of artists they do that one album. Everybody hyped until you drop that one. Drop that one album, that determines your future. Yeah. And we ain't we ain't selling them that much. Mm -hmm. Our albums aren't better than our mixtapes these days, and mm -hmm. I'm here to change all that. Even yeah, though I haven't been around for that long, but my it's my album. My legacy ain't gonna go down that way. There it is, man. Kirk Bangs, <laughs> man. That boy got game. Mm. Boy got game. Matter of fact, man, remember this moment? For this. <laughs> what the hell, damn, man? They blew the cue. They trying to knock my swag, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yo, my name is Kirk. Oh, actually, my name is Kirk. My entertainment. Hold up, hold up, man. It ain't working, man. It didn't work. It didn't work, man. It's okay. Nah, man. They, it was a moment we was going to, you know, it, was, it doesn't work, man. Let it go. They needed somebody to do it for the culture for them last night. That's yeah, what, that's that what it was. Problem. They needed yeah. a two-piece. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but that's all right, man. Easy. It was, it was about that Kerry Washington moment, but, you yeah. know, yeah. But and then after that, she got that show. Yeah, Scandal. Put her on. You put her on. <laughs> you, he got that Kerry Washington, she responded, and then she got Scandal. I got that touch. Yeah. And Who then, else wanted? Did she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kirk Bangs, ladies and gentlemen. That's the young homie right here. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45.